Hi there, you lovely fly fishing maniacs. My name is Ken Persson. Welcome to the Sameo channel. Fly fishing for pike is so fun. Pikes are notorious aggressive predators that attack their prey like there's no tomorrow. Their sharp teeth and ferocious temper put some real demands on the equipment we use. And that is the subject today, so tag along! Pikes, big, glorious and wonderful. They are one of the most popular predator fishes we got here and to catch them on a fly rod is a hell of a treat. Since we use quite big streamers compared to other fishing methods, it puts some extra demands on our gear. Sure, you can use a standard 6 weight and have a great time, but you need to adapt the bait sizes to quite small flies. So for pike fishing I'd rather recommend you a 8 or 9 weight instead. It's just more comfortable and relaxing with the extra line weight to turn out the big and bushy flies. Pikes are ambush predators and they usually stay quite stationary hidden to attack any prey stupid enough to get in its range. To get the fly to really roll out and start fishing immediately is essential, at least here in Blekinge. There is absolutely no time to waste getting loose fly line in, the fly should start fishing at landing. The line I prefer is my colleague Patrick's great line taper we named Samio Pike Control. I use a 19.5 gram head weight on my 8 or 9 rod and I usually don't cast more than 18 meters when I pike fish, so the extra line weight is no problem for my rods. A thick tapered leader really helps the line to make the fly roll out. The leader I like to use is tapered 20 pounds salmon leader and I shorten it down to about 6 feet. An easy way to measure it is to straighten the arms out. I'm 185 centimeters tall so the length between my arms is about the same, just over 6 feet. I cut the extra excess in the back. My Sameo Pike Forcep has a clever built-in line and wire cutter. As you probably already know, pike has big and plenty of sharp teeth, so I use a Payfex wire the last 30 cm as tippet. Nylon just wouldn't do the trick here. Payfex is a French brand that makes great soft wire that is easy to straighten even after being really beat up by a pike. To put the tippet on the leader I use a surgeon knot, just like I would on ordinary tippet. You put the materials and form a loop, make an overhand knot with both ends and do it one more. Wet and pull together. So easy. Trim the excess off and voila, a small and strong knot. Now it's up to your personal taste if you want to put on a small bait lock with a bait knot. or if you want to have loop-to-loop -loop connection or if you prefer to tie it straight on your streamer. Payfix Fortress is so easy to use. A big pair of long forceps is important. You do not want to get your fingers in the pike's mouth. Use the forceps to push down any barbs on your hooks and that will save you plenty of grief. Pike flies are quite big and bulky and bait boxes is just a pain to carry around when wading. So Patrick here on Samia designed a clever pike wallet in neoprene and stainless hooks to hang the flies in. There is plenty of room for your flies and other stuff. There is dedicated pockets for leaders and wire. Easy to use and put in your pocket. So, and after you've fished, you can go and hang the flies to dry up over the tabletop or the back of a chair. Yeah, that's all you need. A powerful rod with a heavy line, of course, you want a reel to keep the big line and a thick leader with wire tippet and some flies. And yeah, the forceps is a must. You can fish for pike all year round, but please leave them alone while spawning. We don't want to disturb them when they produce the next generation. Please. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this short video and as usual, if you like it and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you soon, bye bye.